friends, this is Freed, author of My Burnt Orange. Today, um, I'm going to make a very traditional Botswana dish, which I've been dying to make for ages and just didn't have the guts to make it. So I just thought I would step right in and the dish I'm making today is called Siswa. So what is Siswa? Siswa is a type of um, it's slow cooked pounded beef. Now it is not ground beef because you slow cook um, the meat which would typically be on the bone until it's you know ripe and ready to fall off and then traditionally at weddings or any big event men will come together around this three-legged pot and start pounding it with wooden uh, wooden spoons um, and that's how you get the pounded beef. So today how I'm going to make it is I bought some meat suitable for slow cooking. I, I don't know what cuts of beef are but I asked the butcher you know can I slow cook with this and um, you know this is what I found. Unfortunately it was not on the bone you know there's something about England and boneless meat. I can't even find tea bone steak around here okay but um, this is what I've been told so all I'm going to do is brown this um, and then put salt water and I'll put a whole onion in um, not chop it just because that's a me thing um, I'm going to use some bay leaves as well just to you know see how it turns out but simply it's a very simple recipe just the beef the water the salt slow cook it for how many hours you like whether it's two three four five you know i'm going to try and go for about four hours because i want it really soft oh i forgot to mention there's a new addition to my kitchen i was in my local supermarket and i saw this and obviously because of the color i had to get it but this is you know traditional uh, slow cooking casserole dish cast iron and I think it will change, you know, the way I do things in my kitchen, you know, I'm getting proper tools, so, yay! Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to do here is just brown the meat slightly. We'll put in some water, my whole onion, uh, bay leaves, salt, and then just throw it into the oven. My pot is hot. Uh, let's put in about one tablespoon of olive oil and just start chucking in your meat. The second batch has uh, browned a little. I'm just adding the remainder. I'm going to be adding my whole onion. Yeah, just the whole onion. I'm going to add my bay leaves, three or four, and lots and lots of water. Yes, enough to cover it. I had to resist the urge to, you know, put in chicken stock, but this is just a very simple dish, just salt. But I will add some pepper. Okay. So, oh, there we go. I'm just going to give it a little stir. Make sure all the meat is covered. I'm going to cover it up. Now, this is going to go into my preheated oven. Uh, 150 degrees and yes crock pots are hot so be careful Go. hey guys it's been four hours so uh, here goes nothing Nice solid pot. Okay. 
Okay, water's reduced a bit. Looks like it's even browned nicely. Just a little bit. Um, I'm going to just take out the bay leaves and the onions and there's still a fair bit of liquid in there so um oh and look at that it's oh, it's perfect it's just so soft and breaking away taking out my onion but, uh, just going to turn on the stove and just let it cook uncovered um, just so the, the the water goes away so now I'm just going to mash it. it looks like I don't even have to put in um, too much effort which is great because some people think this is the hardest bit there we go I mean so can you see this is what it's doing and this is the sort of effect you want to get, the shredded effect. As far as I'm concerned, based on the fact that this was my first attempt, I think um, we've got what we want here. That's great, isn't it? So the only thing that was missing from this is the bones, you know. It's normally cooked on the bones, but this is effectively what we want. Oh, some nice pieces of fat there. Just gonna fish those out. Don't really need that. There is the final result, and I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. I've decided to make some polenta. Um, as you can see, polenta. I'll just show you what I'm going to make to accompany it because you know it's a special meal all in celebration of independence. This is something that can be had at weddings. All I've done is simply chopped up some butternut, uh, put a bit of salt, uh, one teaspoon of sugar, a bit of butter, and some cinnamon sticks and just put it in the oven. Um, and this is just a variation to, to my other video on how to make the putsi. Um, but this is just the, the no mess, no fuss, hands free version. So I'm just going to put that in the oven. And what I've made here, I'll be making like um, just a green bean and broccoli salad, which um, I'll be dressing with. This is a dressing made with uh, Dijon mustard, a bit of olive oil, a bit of honey, and a little bit of um, fat-free salad cream. You know, it does the job. So just pour that in there, and you know it's nice and saucy, so it'll give us a bit of sauce. But um, yeah, just while I've got everything going, why don't I taste the star of the show today, which is Siswa? There goes nothing. Does it taste authentic? It certainly smells good. I don't know about you, but I think I've nailed it. <laughs> and it's so, so tender. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll try and make it yourselves at home. But until next time, bon appetit!